All right, welcome back to the channel, everybody. I am Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon and The Blackest Heart, both books published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. Today, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. You know, my regular library is upstairs. That's where I've got all my novels. Today, we're filming down in my writing studio. And in my writing studio, we've got all of my non-fiction books right there in that corner. So that is where I keep all of my biographies, my history books, my World War II history books, my science books, my philosophy books. All that kind of stuff. But what I want to do now is I want to... Uh, one of my favorite historians is Peter Aykroyd. Now, Peter Aykroyd, I've got a grip of his books here. I'm going to show you each of them, and we're going to save the best for last. But um, I started with, about 16 years ago, the first book I read of his was called Thames, or Thames, the River Thames, or the River Thames. I don't know how you pronounce it, folks. I don't. I honestly don't. But um, it's a biography of the river. And the importance of the river in, in, in southern England and um, how it uh, helped uh, grow western civilization. And how important it was just to almost everything that goes on in the world today. Just because it was the main river that flowed in and out of London, which became one of our major um, industrial hubs. And so I was really got, I was like, God, this was a, how can a guy take a story of a river and make it into like an action adventure novel almost. And that's what he did and that's what I really liked about Peter Aykroyd. So I started collecting everything he wrote. The next thing we, he wrote was, the next thing I read of his was just a, the biography of London. Again, I mean you can imagine, there's been a lot of things that have happened in London over the course of its history and a lot of it is pretty adventurous and gruesome and exciting and he puts it all in there so so um this guy if you want to read a great historian who's uh whose main focus is in european history especially british history this is the guy and we're going to get into the we're going to get even deeper into how how detailed this guy gets into his historicals um venice he did a history of venice this is one of his more recent ones that came out i really dug this this one is called Albion, The Origins of the English Imagination. I really, really loved this book. In fact, I actually used Albion. I liked that word so much I actually incorporated it into my own novels. There's actually a... Uh, there's references to Albion in these novels. And then he did the uh, biography of Shakespeare, which was really super cool. This is a great look at Shakespeare, great insight into all of his plays, into some of his more famous lines, where they might have come from and what they might mean, and alternative meanings, and just, just the history of the life and times of William Shakespeare. A great, great biography. Now I'm going to get into what I really love about Peter Ackroyd. This is my favorite stuff Peter Ackroyd's done. Now he is doing a, and he's almost done, I think he's got one volume left, an eight volume series of the history of the British islands from Neanderthal times up to modern day. And it is a brilliant series. I've got the first seven, I, well the eighth one hasn't come out yet, but we're going to show you all of them. And this if you want to read a detailed history of, well, the British Isles, like I said, it starts with foundation. It talks about just even how the land mass itself was formed. And then it goes from there, through ne ne Neanderthal times. And then um, I think it's from the, the history of England from its earliest beginnings up until the Tudors. So we, uh, this, this book, the first book spans a huge amount of years. Book number two is The Tudors, and it's the history of England from Henry VIII to the Elizabeth I, 
which is a very condensed period of time because now people are starting to like write histories just so we got a lot more information now we can pack more stuff into shorter years so this is book number two book number three rebellion the history of england from james the first to the glorious revolution it's book number three and the just the amount of detail and history you get from the series is crazy revolution this is book number four the history of england from the battle of Boyne to the battle of waterloo so four books in and we're already up to waterloo Peter Ackroyd, The History of England, Dominion, The History of From the Battle of Waterloo to Victoria's Diamond Jubilee. That is book number six. Actually, I've only got seven, I've only got six of, uh, I think it's an eight book series, but I've only got the first six. The next two have not been written yet. The History of England, Volume 6, Innovation. And then there's two more coming that haven't been written. But I love this series. And man, it just, it's such a beautiful looking series to have on your bookshelf. Oh my gosh. If I don't spill them, I'll show them. It's just a beautiful looking series of England. Just the history of England. And imagine two more books going on to the top of that. It's just so wonderful. I just wanted to share. For those of you who are into nonfiction and stuff like that, I just wanted to show you my Peter Ackroyd collection. One of the greatest historians alive today that's still writing and uh, just absolutely fantastic stuff.